and just to you find the find the color. Okay, find the color. Okay, for example, I want to use this this for this this uh, uh, bubble. Okay, I'm going to use this marble. Uh, use this marble. I set up the current layer. Okay. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So this marble, I'm going to I'm going to bring this material to here. Okay. Got it. Okay, got it. This this is a marble. I want to use it. And also, you want an orientation like this, or it's up to you. You can you can change now. I want an orientation horizontally. I'm going to flip. I flip this image. I can flip to use image. An uh, image rotate a ninety degree. Uh, clock which clock which go this way. Counter clock which go this way. I'm confused that. If you got a if you got a mistake, I'm not see just redo that. Okay, something this way, something this way. Okay, okay. If I got a clock wish, nope, I don't want it. I'll do Control Z. Okay. Uh, okay. Rotate, counter, counter clock wish. Okay, good. This. I got this image, I'm gonna drag, drag this image to here. Okay, perfect, yep. I bring to here. So anyway, if this is like a model, uh, model, it's not required your the distorted image. But from a theory, model you still have the distorted image. Distort, which means uh, foreground, background, foreground is bigger, Background is smaller. Okay. You still distort this better, I will see. Okay. So how can I do that? So from this one, I can I get this is a repeat the last class. I have this one. Uh this is marble. Okay, marble. I call back, I rename it, rename this one layer five. I call back wall. Uh marble. Zero one. Zero one zero two zero three. It's up to you. Your name. Okay. And now I can like this material. Okay. So here's material. You can distort. Distort. Go back to edit. Edit. Transform. Image. I use a distort. The distort. So it, this is what I want. I want to make smaller. Okay. This is what I want. This is why. Okay. This is why. Okay. I can make it like this shape. Okay. Then this one. Just spend time. Okay. So like this one, I follow with a perspective line. I follow with perspective line. Okay. Perfect. Follow perspective. So this is bigger, this is smaller. Okay, so floor, same thing. Okay, I feel okay. Whatever you feel okay or not okay. Uh, this is the advantage we can very easy to change different image. Okay, I feel okay this one. Okay, double click, see back wall. And the back wall, I'm going to cut the shape, cut this shape. Okay, I can use a, uh, this tool, pen tool, pen, pen. Okay, I wanna enlarge a little bit of this image, enlarge, uh, control. I left hand, I click a control, right hand plus, control plus, which means uh, zooming, click once, keep zooming, keep zooming. Okay, and uh, I click the center bar, center the bar keyboard, then, so take a look at this, this pen to change to hand, which is a pair. Okay, roughly in the middle. And now I'm gonna select one. 
Okay. It's up to you. I can I can keep working until here. Okay. I make this wall ready. Oh. The plant. Uh, the plant. Make sure that's typical on the top layer. On the top layer. Okay, on the top layer, I can do this. Four, five. This is a uh, reception desk. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Open here. Repeat. Okay. Okay, now I close this file. Okay, so I don't want to trace again. If you don't want to trace this one again, you go back to path, you save working path and save it. Save it, I save working path to selecting area. Okay, good. Oh, sorry, I need to, I need to, I need to create one more layer. I create one layer, so I save, I create a new layer for this one. This is called, this layer, I don't want to trace again, this one I call path, I call wall. One zero one. One zero one. One zero one. Okay. Then I type. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to backspace. Remove. Nope. Inverse. Okay. Inverse. Okay. Inverse. Go back to filter. Or filter. Select. Select. The inverse backspace perfect. Okay, so in fact, take a look at this wall. I'm going to reduce this wall. So, this is back wall, this is left side. In fact, I just ignore here. If you want a hundred percent make perfect, you have to make one layer for here, another layer, another here, here. Another layer here, but now I ignore know that. It's just the background and not see too much. That's it. Okay, yeah. I got a back move. So right now, we just spend the time, make uh, everything is a flat. Everything just attach the color, attach the color, okay? So this time I said, I have a background color is dark gray. You remember I will use a gray paper Okay, so I can spend uh, I can spend 20 hours to add every detail attach the materials. Depend on is that necessary or not? Okay, if that not necessary, not necessary. Okay, so I can start to. You know, I have the hardwood floor. I got a marble wall. So next time I'm going to create the lighting atmosphere light. Okay. Light atmosphere, first step, to, I, I give you an idea. First step, I'm going to turn lighting atmosphere. Set the file. I suggest since if you're working for that, you can turn off your, turn off your uh, flow, bubble, nothing, nothing. And also turn off your back. Okay, nothing, just to show this gray color. Show this gray, it's good, it's gray paper. I can show the lighting atmosphere. Light, light, okay. I can find a reference image. Okay, light atmosphere, this one possible. Light. As more ink as possible, okay. So the flow, okay, I'm gonna make a reflection. I, what I need a, 
I need to make a little bit reflect to make a reflection. How do you make it? Uh, to make a reflection. Okay, I create a one more layer. Uh, make sure. I call so this one I call REF uh, reflection, which means reflect flow reflection. That's hard one flow. So this hard one flow you have manually change. First layer I just apply color. So next one I need to add a reflection. Reflection except the carpet fabric without a reflection. Any another material try to add a reflection. So we have a for REF a reflection. Flow and I call FL flow. Uh, flow. You have you have a dark reflection. You have a light reflection. This one I just call light. Light or white is up to you. Okay. I call light. And also this is image. Okay. So this one layer six I call REF reference image. Zero, zero, one. Another one I call reference image. Zero two. You have zero three, zero four. But that's reference. Oh, R E F L. I try to make a difference. Reflect. Flow light. Flow light light. Okay, how can I make a light color? So take a look at here's a, give you a good idea. So this is reflection, see, reflection, okay. And here another reflection. Okay, so typical reflection, I wanna make a center, a little bit of light. This is my center, a little bit of light. I'm gonna reduce, a little bit size, reduce. Uh, so reflection, I'm gonna use white, just use white color. I'm gonna use a brush, brush. Brush, now I switch brush, now to use a hard round. If you use a hard round, I increase size, you get a trouble. Okay, that's just the uh, white. Okay, control Z. I suggest you go back to use a soft round, soft, soft round. Then you change the flow. If you are not a change of flow, what's that? If you change, you are not changing flow. If you use 100%, I'm going to increase this size. You can see if you use 100% uh, size, I could change the size. If I click, okay. So that that's 100% just white. Even this is soft, too bright. That's not a reflection, okay. Yes. If you're on a reflection, I'm going to change this one flow. That's called flow. 100%. You can you can erase it to 50 50% around 50% if I click once. Okay, a little bit lighter. And also you still can reduce to 10%. 10%, a little bit lighter. One, two, three, four, five. From theory, I click five times. You look like a 50%. Okay, I click additional five percent, uh, five times. One, two, three, four, five. I fix by more. They're very close to a hundred percent. Okay, if you give it ten percent, that's easy to control that. Okay, okay, okay. If you get a mistake, I just erase. I'm going to redo that. I use the eraser. Eraser. I use regular eraser. I use a hard round eraser. Okay, and uh, flow. By the way, you increase size, take a look at, I need to increase this size, increase the eraser. Okay, erase, just regular erase, I mean, erase background, okay. Okay, now I'm going to use a brush, and also this one, I flow, I give it 10%. I increase this brush, you can test that. Okay, you can test that. So that's, I give it 700. Take a look at this brush. One click, two, three. Okay, a little bit brighter. Reduce size. 
see i make a center maybe brighter maybe brighter okay and also depend on depend on reflection i still can make a little bit more reflection reflection this time you still can use a uh, you still can use a uh, uh, white color, white. Okay, so up here, more reflection. Okay, so reflection like this one give you idea of the edge, the edge. Take over edge. You can use this time edge, you can use eraser. Eraser, you can use a sharp edge. Take a sharp edge, which means this is a, I use razor, I make edge, sharp edge. Or you can use a control Z, you can use soft edge. Soft edge, when I choose a, when I choose the eraser, I can choose. A soft, soft round. Okay, now I, if I move, see that's edge, which is a soft round. And also, eraser, you still can choose 100%, or you can choose flow. I use flow a lot of flow. You can change it to like the brush 50%, 38%. If you click once, okay, erase like that. You can click twice. Keep the eraser, keep the eraser. So this one easy to control. And also you still can consider you want to move it. You want to you want a free hand to move it, or you want to move straight. If you want to move straight, you have to hold the left hand, hold the hold the shift key. Hold the shift key. Okay, I click it, I hold the shift key, I test that. Okay, that's make it straight. Okay. So this is technical. So I can increase this one eraser size. Okay, from here to here. Just keep working. Okay, perfect. Okay, I make a vertical line. Erase it. Take a look. I have this little bit of reflection. But I have more reflection, I can keep adding more detail, keep adding more detail, okay? And also, if you want to make it a little bit shiny flow, look like a, look like this one shiny, you have to determine later sometimes the shiny flow, which is determined. If you have a light color, light, light color, light color, this is okay? Uh, here, I believe the, uh, I believe here, I get a reflection, high reflection, the light color, typical hair light, lighting source or something on the table here, the light color. Uh, but uh, this one, be careful. I'm not use, going to use this layer. I have to create additional layer, additional layer, which means in case if you get a mistake, okay, you can, you can revise that. I'm going to create another layer I call, uh, re I copy this name, Reflection Flow Light. I call this one uh, Reflection Flow Light. Uh, I call zero one, zero two. Give it a name, like just make a name different. Okay. Okay, light, they were take a look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another layer on the top. Okay. Uh, I use another, I use a brush again. I still use a white color. I'm going to work in. Baby small. Maybe here I have a highlight. Somewhere here with a light color. Okay, I add another layer on the top, another layer on the top. And also I'm going to use eraser again, eraser. 
Okay, one. Hold the shift key. Oops, hold the shift key. Okay, great. Do I get a reflection? So this is, you see that? This is for this But you can get an idea. It's a reflection. So now, okay. I'm going to turn on the floor. Okay, look at. I save the file first. I save the file. Uh, but anyway, you have like this reflection, you have to give them a uh, dark background, like you see. Okay, if you give it a for example, if you don't have any background, nothing. Okay, nothing. Be careful. So this time I can turn on my flow. Okay. Okay, if I turn on this flow, reflection. Okay, let's take a look at here's no reflection, for example, like this one, no reflection. I add a reflection. Okay, so now you can see, even you see this one not very well because this is for still not too bright and then not too dark. Okay. But anyway, if you have a dark flow, we can see better reflection. I turn on the hardwood flow. Let's take a look. See, uh, hardwood is better. Hardwood flow is looking better. So now here's nothing. I had a reflection, see a little bit brighter. And also this one, you can see reflection. And also the corner, you still can make it darker even this time. Okay, so which means, take a look at, I got a hard wood flow, I got a material first. Material, I get a material, for example, like a wool. I go back to turn on the wool. Okay, I get a marble, and also I can add uh, this. This wall still can add a reflection. Still can add a reflection. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, ceiling. Typical the ceiling. This is just the one layer ceiling. One layer ceiling, and also uh, the material. It's Photoshop. This this have this more. I get a marble. If you feel this this color too strong, because the you don't want that too strong. You feel too uh, too strong. You can reduce opacity. This one hundred percent. You can reduce. You can reduce a little bit of opacity. But that's that's for sorry. I picked the wrong. Back of marble, I can reduce your opacity if you want. You can you if you want to make it a little bit dull. Okay. See, this is one hundred percent. It's up to you if you don't want that too too strong. Okay. Save the files. Save the file. Anyway, this one just. Oh, sorry. Open this one. Okay, so this file, give you idea, this file, uh, this file flow, sand flow. Take a look, I add a reflection. Reflection. So this is what I mentioned about a reflection. Does it depend on your background? Be careful. Your background, like this. So I can only see the high, 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 high reflection. And this wall, I'm going to make it here, just repeat that. And between that, I just add the color. Okay. Ceiling. Ceiling. Okay, ceiling, actually. 
I have a base background, base background, and also this one just added. I like I will teach you later. And also out of the sphere, if you want to add any the uh, light to this slide. And also final, make sure final. It's not a sorry, I'm going to this microphone. This is really important. Okay. Uh, final, this one, you don't have to make a list, this look at like 3D photo realistic. Okay, even this one, this works is still look like a, look like a freehand. Absolute freehand outline. Okay, and also color, you can see I didn't make this color too strong. I didn't make this color too strong. Okay, it's not necessary to make it look like a totally 3D works. If you want to make a 3D, you don't have to use this one. You can use a lot of software. Okay, so this one, I will, so this is why this is, I call the digital, I still call digital so sketch. I have this one. Okay, so if I want to receive, I want to create a, a lighting fixture, for example, the ceiling, if I want a light, this ceiling, if I have a light, light fixture, okay. So I'll give you a trick for light. Uh, for light, uh, this is can light. I pre-draw the can light. Okay, pre-draw can light. Can light, uh, you can create the uh, atmosphere, which is a typical, most of the time, I would say 90% time, the, can light, the lighting fixture, which is warm temperature. Okay, create a warm temperature, make your space more comfortable. Okay, more comfortable. So, so I you uh, so this time I'm going to create the uh, one more layer. That's I can give the name. Give the name that's called light, light uh, yellow. I'm going to create a yellow atmosphere first. Yellow atmosphere, yellow. So. Uh, I use a brush, brush, uh, brush. I'm going to enlarge this one, enlarge. Uh, yellow, I use yellow color. You can see yellow color. I use yellow. I use a little warm temperature. Okay. So now I reduce uh, this size. Okay, take a look. That's just a little bit of yellow. Yellow temperature, this one. Maybe warm temperature. And also I can keep another one. Okay. And I can reduce the size. Keep distance far away. Keep reduce. Okay. Even though this one, this is a, a pendulum light. Pendulum light, I still can use a warm temperature around this light fixture. Okay. Maybe warm temperature. Take a look at, I'm going to turn off this layer. See that, a little warm temperature. See, okay. Okay, now, next step, I'm going to create a one more layer that's called uh, the, the white. White, white, I call light. White, white color, <laughs> white, then, Save, save the files. White, uh, white. I'm white. This time, just use white. Just use white. Okay. So this one, you can go ahead and use. You don't have to use soft. You can use a hard round. Hard round. I'm going to increase the size. Increase. Okay. Reduce this size. Okay. Just white. I make this white. You can see not a too many detail because I get an ink line. Ink line, I just use white. 
see here this white okay you don't have to apply very detail so in ink drawing is really important in drawing okay here light reduce size okay okay And also, this is a pendant light. I just made a white color. See, if you take a look at if this time I turn off, if this time take a look at I turn off the outline. If if you turn off the loud, I save the files, save the file. If I turn off the loud line, off the outline, in in drawing, see, you cannot see too many details. And uh, ink line is really important. Okay, yeah. And also, and also the the, the back. I said this is back. This work can be to be the, the marble or any material. Any material. Typically, this part. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit light. Little bit light. So I'm gonna I'm going to bring the light color for the back wall, a little light color. Uh we'll go back to find a wall layer and save the file. Wall layer, wall back. Back wall marble, I need it from the top. I call. Back wall. I call light. Light. Uh, Save the file. Okay, so this part, a little bit light color, a little bit light. I'm going to use a uh, still use white color. Uh, I use a brush. Brush, I use soft edge, soft around, soft around, but uh, soft around. Uh, we need increase this size, soft around size. Okay. Here. Okay. There's a white color, but it's too bright. This is what I want. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to use this one flow for very control like this. There's a free hand, just make it between this part, a little bit light. Okay. Maybe just a little bit light. A little bit light color. Okay. Back more. Okay, back wall. And also this time you decide. Okay, you decide. Back wall. And this wall. You want to keep like that or you want to you want to put like light behind that. You can create that if you want. If you want to create a light. Okay, so. I create one more layer on the top. I'm going to create. A, I'm going to do this. I want to receive the light. This part here. I can create a new layer. I call back wall. Back wall. Yellow. Light. Yellow. Okay, back wall light yellow, this part. I still can use pen tool. I can do this if I want to receive the light. I'm going to still use yellow color, cream color, maybe warm temperature, warm temperature. I can do this. 
I can increase the uh, brush size to like this size. I use, <clears throat> I use a yellow color flow. I give it a 10%. See, yellow color. Yeah, yellow color, but that's too strong. Okay. Okay, I start from here. Then hold the shaft key, hold the shaft key, make it straight. So here, don't worry about that. Perfect. I have I use white color. I use white. I reduce this size. White. This is white. From here, take a look at. Hold the shift key. Click, hold the shift key. So, which means now I receive the light. I receive the light. Next step, take a look at. It's very important. Next step. I'm gonna turn off this one. I'm going to use eraser. You can eraser or you can use pen tool. Either way, I can use eraser, try eraser. Hard edge. Okay, take a look. I'm going to erase from here. Hold the shift key. Make straight. Okay, this part. Hold the shift key. Perfect. This part. Hold the shift key, save the file. Okay, now you can see. I create line to see behind me. We couldn't see too many people, but we, we can do it, right? Receive the light. And also, if you have this, this type of light, don't forget. Don't forget. Create this one reflection from here. Create a reflection from here. Reflection. I need to add additional reflection. Take a look at this one, typical. That's called reflection. Uh, light, white. That's not, that's floor reflection. Floor light number one. Okay, perfect. This is light number one. Okay, I, I have one more layer. That's reflection. Reflect floor. Light there two. Light zero two. Okay, light zero two. Okay, I use white white color again. Just the just to make a random look like this direction. So that's more look like. Take a look at this one. This is a good example. Okay. Okay. So now. I'm going to uh, uh, use a pen tool. I have a little bit here, just a red one, maybe. So a little bit, but oh, that's too much. See that? Maybe a reflection from here. Okay. Save the file. Okay, the reflection. Now the floor, first, first the floor, floor, I get white color. I get a white color. And also I'm gonna turn off this one. Turn off. Uh, Okay, I have one more layer reflection, dark. Okay, dark color here. Take a look at typical, here's dark. I'm going to turn off the floor. I turn off the floor just to show, show gray color here. I have light color. And also I, I would like to make a little bit dark, dark reflection here, dark. Uh, so this is more look like uh, sometimes reflection. You have a light color, reference image. 
and also a little bit light color. Take a look at this one. This is uh, this is a uh, uh, take a look here. Here, I'll give you a good example. You can see my mouse, the, the reception desk underneath is a little bit dark color. Okay. I have one more layer. That's cool. Reflection. Oops. Uh, reflection. Flow. Flow dark. Reflection flow dark. Okay, flow dark. Flow dark, you, you just go ahead and use a dark gray color on the top. Okay. I'm going to turn off the layer. That's really better. I, I don't want to turn on. Flow, take a look at flow. I can do this reflection flow dark. I can use a brush and I choose a dark color. I need to choose, I can choose this color. I hold out to keep pick this color. I even darker. Okay, darker. So I'm going to use a brush again. Brush is soft edge because this is soft edge. Take a look at. Okay. Is it make it darker? See that I use a look like a brush. Okay. 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 Maybe dark. So this good example. Take a look at this spot. This image provides you good example for reflection. Okay. Okay. Here. Also here. Perfect. Okay. So now edge. I'm going to make it darker. Edge. I want to use the eraser. The eraser. This time use the hard round edge. Or this time I use this one. I use a mark rate tool. Mark rate is select. So this is why I said if you everything uses straight, make this draw easy. Mark it to I just make a box, backspace, perfect. Do this. Do this part, backspace, perfect. Okay, now take a look at. Uh, okay, now I got a erase. I got a erase. So now you can see reflection. And now next step, I'll go back and turn on the layer. Turn on the layer. Okay, first, uh, take a look at flow. Take a look at this detail. This is dark color I made, okay? I go back a background. Then I turn on the, <clears throat> turn on the marble flow. All hard water flow. Now this one, make sure this hard water flow. Okay, hard water flow. Then background. Take a look at layer. Background. Uh, background. Uh, wall. Okay. So now everything is flat, right? Flat. If you want to receive the reflection, give me diffuse sunlight. Okay, so light, backward light, and also receive the, receive the light, backlit. And also don't forget the reflection. Reflection from flow, okay? Reflection light. 
refraction number two re reflect here. So more look like a reflected for C. And also what I have now. See much. I use in my edit transform uh, scale scale. Okay, make a bigger part. Make sure this is not working. Why? Uh, it's special for wood. Wood, unlike the wood pattern, unlike the, the marble or granite. Granite is not the wood. You can see, but anyway, this but you still can see the linear shape, the grain, the grain still this way. So anyway, for perspective. So this is perspective, so you have the towards perspective, towards perspective, okay? So outline is very important. You, so this one, you don't have to make a very detail, but you have to follow this one, right? Follow this one, okay? Just save the file. Uh, layer number two, um, layer number six, I'm gonna rename it. Rename this one with a wall. MIT material wood or material level wood. Okay. Okay, so now we can use a tool. So this one is just roughly bring to here. So make sure here's a perspective. Then I'm going to use a image, edit, transform. I use a, a distort. Okay. Perfect. After distort, I can pick this line, pick the point, drag it, drag it. You can make any shape you want it. I make it bigger. Okay. Okay. So make this match this perspective. See, match that, match, match the perspective line, match that. Okay. Match it, match it. Okay, I make a bigger, slightly bigger, but a photo is perspective, photo is perspective. Okay. So this one, you make a like this, make it like this, and try to, try to meet the validation point as, as close as possible, maybe like this. Okay, so you can see, meet it to perspective line, okay? And the next step, okay, I get this shape. Okay, I get this shape. Uh, I need to remove the line. So I can, I can, I have one choice. I can use a eraser. This is one choice, but I'm not using eraser. You can erase this, but you can use the eraser. Eraser, you can use the eraser tool. Okay, or oh, I teach you before, you could, we can use a pen tool. Pen tool, uh, because this part, I said that this is a, uh, anyway, I think more interesting. This is a Spanish deal, okay? That's only this piece of wood, this piece of wood, okay? I can do this. I can, I can highlight, uh, use pen tool, pen tool, okay? I can highlight from here. I can zoom in. If you want to zoom in, okay, you can use it here, zoom in, and also from your mouse, Control left hand click the control plus minus plus, which is enlarge, enlarge, enlarge. Okay, control plus plus. You decide how big you want it. Okay, that's too big. Maybe. Okay, or you could have a zero, zero, which is a hundred percent. Okay, zero, hundred percent. Okay, 300 dpi, okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, uh, shrink me, control minus, okay. Okay, I'm gonna work in here, work in here, uh, work in this part. Okay, I work in this part first, this part, I'm gonna use a pen tool, here's a pen tool. Okay, from here, one. Okay, two. I make incline. Incline, you can make a little bit bold. Okay, incline. Yeah, they also use a straight edge. 
I'm not assuming really detail. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. Here, two, here, two, here. Perfect. Then we'll space bar. I can use space bar. So right now you can you still can say pen tool, but if you click a space bar, the pen switch to pen, pen, which is okay. Okay, okay. And also when you close this one, you have to close close selection. You have to make a full circle, and also you just close this object after you move to start and the point to end to start with, it will show you circle, circle. Okay, so your mouse move to this circle. See, that's the change of circle. Circle. Okay, perfect, good. Okay, it's the first one. Second one, from here, one. Oops. Oh, am I close? Okay, that's close. One, two, Keep working. So this detail we can ignore later. Okay. Close. Okay. Keep working this one. And I can start from here. There's a lot. Control minus, control minus. One. Hold the shift key. Two. I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, control Z, not too big. Until here. Yeah. Rough it. Okay, well, here, here. Okay. I make a, I make an outline. I make an outline. After I make an outline, uh, I can save, I'll ask because I teach you, I make outline, I can save this path. Because later I, I can try different maturity work. Different but you okay. So I go back to the path, path, working path, working path. I move to select area. Here's a select working path, working path. I move to select area. Okay, so path number one. So this is a called path. Wall. I have number one. Wall number two. We take a look at one different types. Just repeat it. Wall number two. Okay, then I'm gonna, I want number one, one number two, I'm gonna move to select area. Move to select area, perfect. Wall number two, wall number two. Now backspace from your keyboard, the keyboard backspace. Okay, so this is a remove this pattern, but I know I want to keep this one. Inverse, remove outside, control Z. I'm gonna select, Select inverse, inverse. Okay, perfect. And backspace. Okay, it's what I want. Okay, this is what I want. And also, do you remember last class? Uh, last the class, uh, I make the uh, another material. Another the marble, okay, marble something. For example, like this time, okay. So I use marble. I I say this. Do you remember I said this path? I can I can I can use marble. Okay, I use marble. Let me show you this side. Marble. I use that. Okay, so I use a I use a blue blue marble last time, right? Blue marble. Okay, I'm working again. Blue marble. Okay, blue marble. I bring blue marble to here. Bring marble. 
Okay, perfect. Marble, so take a look at this marble. Uh, I'm very easy. If you have not distort, I would say it's okay. But you, if you distort, oh, it's better. It's better because even like this one, this panel is, anyway, you can see this line, you can see horizontal vertical line. So I have distort, maybe that one always a perspective line, like the smaller, okay. Oh, this one always a distort to that person. Okay, I give you this layer name. This layer name. I double check. I don't want to spend this one hour. I use a 150 pixel. I need 300 pixel. Okay, 300. I don't want to waste my time. Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'll create that. But I use, I just repeat that. Okay, repeat that. Okay, so this one, I have this one, I have this marble. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna distort, distort again this one. Okay, so this one is, this is for wool. MAT material, blue. Higher marble. Marble granite. Okay, you decide one name. Okay, so I'm going to distort this one, distort, distort this one, edit, transform, uh, distort. The marble is more, I would see the more compare wood is more, more. Organic shape. Okay, so roughly. See? Oops. Okay, so this one is better. Still follow is a perspective line, right? Okay, good. So now I'm going to turn off the marble floor. I'm going to turn on the path. The path wall number two, I move to select the area. Perfect. Okay, inverse, make sure inverse. Inverse, uh, select. Inverse, backspace. Perfect. I get a marble. Rule marble. So, which means uh, computer get an advantage. We have, we have two choice. First, the choice is wall. Wall. Okay. Second choice, uh, blue marble, which might prefer. Yeah. So anyway, for Photoshop, this part, this part, you just repeat this one, but more time. Okay, that's just time you to turn up how complex, how many details you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many details you want to show? Uh, for example, I'm going to turn on the, I pre, pre do that. I'm going to keep this wood. Okay, keep this wood. Okay, so the wood, the floor, take a look at. I have this wood. This is, I don't have to repeat the exact same process, this hardwood floor. But this hard floor, this is a mistake. How would a floor do you have the wood floor is not vertical? Okay, we have to distort that. Okay, distort. So which means distort must be like this. See? Distort. See that? Distort. Sport that way. Okay, so this is a, just repeat this step. And also I get a wall, back wall. Okay, so back wall. Nothing special, just to find one material, I put it back. Okay, so this is just the process. And also make sure for this type of drawing, even this is your computer. Uh, so this is we try to distinguish it from the three D rendering. Okay, so this this type of computer, this I works so, uh, still look like a freehand. Absolutely, that's outlines freehand. We don't have to make this type of drawing look like photorealistic. It's not necessary. 
This time drawing, we just show maybe show material, we just show client of the this is marble material, it's a dark wood, it's a light wood. Okay. And also this time I realize because of this floor pattern, uh, I realize uh, it's looking, it's okay, but I want to change to a marble. Do we have a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Sketch, yeah. More clean. I, I wish you a lot of light. A lot of light, but uh, try to make sure that the two points perspective. Yeah. But if you have a, a lot of light like this, that's which means if you as more as possible, that's a safer time. Okay. So a lot of, try to use a straight edge, use a straight edge. And also we still can see outline. We still can see outline. Okay. So typical color, you choose a not too dark. I would say much I suggest you, okay. Okay, floor, I think a floor, I don't want to use hardwood floor. Okay, I don't want to use hardwood floor. I want to use a marble floor. See, it's a marble floor. So this floor I'm gonna make it. Okay. Or before I make the metal piece, uh, before I make metal, metal piece, so I make this part first reflection. Uh, wall, this wood wall, okay, typical wood, wood wall, make sure. Uh, what, what, what might be this part? Yep, we're going to go ahead. Fight receive, typical this part, fight cut. Fight, okay, then fight receive. So typical, anyway, this one not very good, but anyway, you can read the little reflection, it was light reflection, okay? And this part is light color, typical, okay? So I'm going to make a light color here. Okay, I go back to layer, wall, layer, wall. I create, a, I create one more layer as a wall, wall, wood. Right. Or wood light. Okay. Save the file. Okay, so this part is light colors mark a little bit. I use a tool, use a brush, brush, brush. Then I just use a white color. Take a look at I test that. Uh, make sure this one flow flow is really important. Default it was a hundred. Absolutely not like that, right? So this is just this is the white. You have to flow, which means 100 percent 100 percent every time you clean, it's white. 100 percent white, 100 percent white, 100 percent And also edge as because soft edge, you can change the flow. Flow if you give it 50 percent from concept, you click once, 50 percent, click two times, that's 100 percent Okay, so I click once time, second time. And also this time, if you want to easily control, you can reduce this number. You decide, you can reduce to 13. You can click several times. Okay, so which means to go over 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, maybe this one easy to control. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay, so, okay. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to use this tool, Mercury tool. Mercury, highlight or select backspace. Okay, good. Save the file. Okay, after save the file, I'm going to use a brush. Brush. I think this brush is size too small. I'm going to enlarge 190. Maybe slightly bigger. Okay, I use this size. Take a look at what I'm doing. I touch freehand around this part. Oh, I uh, still larger. This one, not 180. 30%. Okay, 9%. Keep it large. Okay. 6% to go down here. Okay, I make it a little bit lighter. 
maybe lighter for the wool. See? But this time, I don't want to show this one to Remember, we have a we've got another path. I'm going to turn on the path. 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 Okay, path. Uh, path one number two. Select. Okay, inverse. Inverse. Select. Inverse. Uh, inverse, backspace, perfect. See? Okay, now we got a regular reflection. Yeah, there's a reflection. Okay, this is a Tao, this is a reflection. Okay, I got a little reflection. Uh, we can adjust, if you feel whatever later you decide. You don't have to emit for any drawing or your freehand will instantly not immediately uh, critique about it. Do not do that. Okay, so I don't know if this good or not, maybe too dark, maybe too light. Forget about it. Keep forward. Until you finish another part, you go back to go. Okay, I'm not immediately to go there. Okay. So next step, I'm going to make the uh, which part of it is the Stainless steel, stainless steel. Uh, so stainless steel, you can find a picture of what you look. Here, I want to make a little bit dark color. Okay. So I do think for this one, stainless steel, for this one, it's up to you. You want to create a path or no path, this doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. I can use the eraser. So first, the first step, take a look at I'm going to Create one more layer. All right, let me do this. Let me turn off or another layer. Let me turn off a floor. Turn off a floor. Let me turn off the turn off the. Let me turn off the this wall. Turn off the wall light, okay, just uh, working like that. Working with that, first, uh, I can do this. I can work in this part first. I create uh, one more layer. One more layer I call Give it a name. This name I call the the elevator door. I call door. I call door. That's door. This this is door. The door branch. Then this is door. Okay, for door first. I call door. Okay, I call door. So now I'm going to use a white color first. Oh, I can use I can use white color, white, white. I working here. White of this, okay, white. Reduce this size. Okay. This white color, just white. Okay, white, keep more white. Okay, so this is do, and also do, I'm gonna use a dark color. Dark color, I just random pick this color here. Dark color, maybe dark. You know, the vertical. If you want to make a straight vertical, your left hand hold the 
the shift key, go to shift key, and let's make it three lock. You click key, hold the shift key, hold the shift key, lift the hand to make three lock. Okay. okay, here, hold the shift key, shift key, okay. It's fine. Okay. Now I can I want to make it here. Okay, now take a look at this is cool. How about here? Don't worry about that because later I'm going to use uh, the, the 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 I turn on the wood layer what to cover that. That's on the top layer. I have this one and also I have a tool. And also, I create another layer that's called door frame. Door frame. Okay, door, door, door frame. Door frame. Okay, I'll create another layer, door frame. Door frame. I'm going to use a white color. I still use white. White, I make it here even brighter. Don't worry about that. I'm going to the increase size. Okay. Then to this part, I'm I just go ahead and direct it. You can use the eraser, or I'm going to use a Marquit tool. Marquit or the, the, the pen tool. I highlight here, one, two, three, four, and close. Peak path, over select area, track space, okay. I get this shape. And this part of Samsung, uh, I use a pen tool. One, two, connect it to here. Three, four, five, path. I'm able to select the area, backspace. Okay. Okay, now take a look at, I'm gonna save the file. We still have some, have some light that we can add later. Okay, so now I want to create a, I can go back to turn on the layer, turn on the wall panel, turn on the wall panel or wall. Take a look at it, it's covered that. See that, it's covered that. And also flow. Where's floor? Floor, perfect. Okay. And a wall, this back wall. Okay, got it. So now I make this shape like this. Set the file. Okay, oh, by the way, effect. I keep it effect. This is part of the effect on the wall. I'm going to turn on that one wall. I'm going to use a, a brush, still use a brush. I, I choose yellow color. Yellow color, uh, I can create one yellow color. I use a, this part, which is a, a swatch. I'm going to pick yellow color. Okay, yellow, I pick yellow color, brush. And also flow, I use 19. I'll keep reduce this one, nine. I'm gonna redo really that. I use a brush, a soft edge. Take a look at this part. Maybe warm temperature on the top, a little bit warm color. Or I keep reduce this, reduce the flow. I think that's still too strong. Okay, take a look at 
I just give you warm temperature. Okay, so the light leave you warm color, and this part typically does not look like this. I just use white. Okay, just use white. So the file, I'm, I just use white. I call square. Oops. Uh, right, white, white. I pick a brush. So this time I just use a, I use hot around, hot around. Take a look at it. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to redo that. Let's say I just redo, reopen. Okay, yellow. Mm. You know me? I use a brush. I just use a white color. White. I use a hot around to reduce the size. Okay, here. This is white color. This is white. Okay, this is white. So white from here. You can hold the shift key. Hold the shift key. Use a brush. Like straight line. I have out, outline is really important. Okay, outline is really important. Okay, here. Here, good. This way you cannot see that. I'm going to zoom out. Okay. I use yellow bottom of the sphere, yellow color. Take a look at it. Then yellow color, then yellow just to create a glow warm temperature and a highlight to use white color and a can light is can light samsung can light can light take a look at yellow color i zoom in you can see more details can light take a look at this can light okay then highlight on the top okay And also, send the file. Okay, so how about here? Uh, I want to create light. Uh, anyway, you have two choice. One choice here, no light, just to keep black color. Not black, just to keep solid like this color. If I want cold light here, Cold light from here, if you are cold light. If you have cold light, okay, look like here. I pre draw that. Okay. Take away this part, I back one light yellow color. See, we receive the light. I'm gonna create that from here. Okay, create that from here. If you wanna create that from, from this spot, okay, you can do that, absolutely. 
Okay, so I'm going to create a one more layer. Uh, so this is called wall, wall light yellow. Okay, so wall light yellow here. So first, the same thing, you use yellow color first, yellow color. You use yellow color here first. Atmosphere, so typical the light gives the warm temperature. I'm going to use a, use a soft edge, soft around, soft around, okay, roughly like this size. I change the flow. See, that's yellow color. Maybe warm temperature, typical, okay. There we do that. Okay. Save the file. Just use a yellow color uh, brush. So this is yellow. I hold the shift key. Okay, here. I give a little bit warm temperature to be a little bit yellow. If somebody can kind of give a little bit cool color, that's okay. But this is a typical warm color. Okay. And also yellow color mixed with white. Mixed with white. Mixed with white. I'm gonna reduce a little bit size from here. Then I can increase flow number. From here towards here, okay. Okay, I use white, and also I'm going to use a, you can use eraser, you can use the eraser, eraser, start from here, then work to hold the shift key, oh, that's too much, here to here, perfect, just use the eraser, I erase it, here, here. Okay. So now take a look at. See, there's no light. There's come with light. Okay, lighting fixture. And also, if this material, take a look at this is a good example of reflection. This is a good example of reflection. Reflection. If you if you include the light. If you include the light here, you have to make a little bit more reflection here. Reflection. Save the file. Reflection. Okay, you have more reflection. See that here? Reflection. Maybe more reflection for here. For this, maybe read it not real well. Okay. Okay. Next step. Next step. So the order. So and also this time, I said to not immediately evaluate. Not immediately. Okay. Uh, I think this this is about too yellow. Because, okay. You got too yellow. That's fine. If that's too yellow, you can do this. You can, different choice. You can, where's yellow? Okay, this part, okay, yellow light. I can reduce opacity, take a look at it. Is that good? Oh, I, I, I use opacity. I'm gonna use eraser. I'm gonna use the eraser, eraser. Eraser, but right now do not erase like this. Okay. Eraser, you still can choose soft run. Then pixel it bigger, bigger. Okay, then you still can choose a flow 43. You can use the eraser. So I can do this. Take a look at I'm going to eraser, increase the eraser size. Okay. 
soft. You can you can touch the yellow color. Okay, I'm going to working from here. One, touch yellow, hold the shift key. There are reduce leave yellow color. Reduce. Okay, remove leave yellow. Not too strong. I think it's better. Okay, it's better. if you don't have ink outline, so guys, I make this 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 Photoshop works. You still can see really rough, not too many detail. So ink, I would see this eighty percent detail from ink. You can see you can compare this one. Okay, this is a uh, without ink, with ink. So ink is really important. 